some questions lately about how to create a landing page on Squarespace. Now, a landing page is often used for sales pages or other pages where you don't want your normal header or footer to show up on the page. So I'm here on my course page, Make Money With Your Blog, and I wanna show you how, if I wanted to, I could hide my header, so it would take off my logo and nav, the announcement bar, and the footer. And then also, in mobile view, I'd like to um, remove the mobile header as well. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the first way that I will show you how to do this requires the business plan or hire on Squarespace. I like using this code because it is only loaded when this page is loaded as uh, instead of loading it in your custom CSS with all of your code. But if you are on a personal plan, I will show you a workaround shortly. So roll over your page in your page menu. So you would go to pages and your page roll over it and click the cog icon. Now we're gonna add some advanced code to our page settings. So you're inside page settings, click advanced, and we're going to the page header code injection. And once you're here, you will paste in the code below. Now this specific code, because it's code injection, we are wrapping it in style tags. We won't do that when we do the CSS version later, but inside the style tags we have for the header, for the footer, for the mobile top menu and for the announcement bar display none and I have it set as important just so it overwrites any other rules that might be applying for these. I'm going to go ahead and click save and you will see when the page refreshes I no longer have my announcement bar, my header, or my footer and when I click the mobile preview you'll see that there is not a mobile menu either. So really the only thing people can do on this page now is get the course. So if I wanted to remove everything except for the main sections of my page, that's how you do it and create a landing page. Now this code is specific for Squarespace 7.1, um, but let me show you how to use a similar code if you are on the personal plan of Squarespace. So with the personal plan of Squarespace, you cannot add code injection here. So we're going to take this and just cut it and save it. So now we're gonna have all of our stuff back. There we go. Now, if you are in the personal plan of Squarespace, you're going to go to custom CSS. So inside custom CSS, we will add a comment. Use these that I will paste below and we're going to let us know which page this is happening on. And next we're going to use the Squarespace ID Finder. I'll put a link to a blog, blog post below on how to use that. But now I have a collection ID for this page, so I can paste that in. Now that I have that, I'm gonna open and close some curly brackets and we'll put the main part of our co code inside here so it applies to this page. So now we'll paste in the code that we had before and we're doing it without the style tags because this is custom CSS. We don't need those now. And let's go ahead and turn off our Squarespace ID finder. And you can see that it works exactly the same and just using this collection to call out this particular page. So that is how you create a landing page in Squarespace. I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe.